Hello, hello, Jeff Helvin here with the Lori Ballin team and Ballin Brands at your command. Today, I want to show you a little trick about on how to get a basically a simple blog feed onto your command website. Now, this we, we've shown you in the past how to do a, a homekeeper blog that we get with our Keller Williams affiliation. And part of us, uh, well, part of the challenge that we have is that uh, we might already have our own website. So if we have a WordPress website like we do, uh, we have BallonVegas.com is Lori Ballon's website. And if we have our own website, we already have blogs that we're publishing to that website. So instead of publishing the Homekeeper blogs to our command website, we'd rather display the blogs that we're feeding to our main WordPress website. So this is a little trick here on how we can make that happen. So right now I am logged in to command. So I'm gonna go down here to designs. And in this case, I'm gonna show you a page that we've already built so you can see the code. Um, adding a page, of course, you'd go through the same process where we go down to consumer and you'd click add a site and you'd create a new page. But in this case, we've already created one. So I wanted to just kind of pop in there for us. So we're gonna go here to our real estate blog page and that's loading up here. So we use the agent profile widget in order to kind of have just this general one that has a picture of Lori Ballin here and we can set the titles and so forth. And you'll see here now, we've got our latest blog posts that we post on the ballinvegas.com website. So uh, the way to make this happen is once we drag over that agent profile, we're gonna click on the configure widgets click on agent profile and we have this information filled out. So in the agent bio, instead of a bio, we're actually putting in this little snippet of code. So we'll see, it's actually, it's not a long piece of code, just a little one, but we do need to know how to work that. So what we're doing is we're iframing in, we're gonna frame in a page that exists on balanvegas.com into the command site. So the page itself, just to show you what that looks like is, this here, ballonvegas.com slash blog for iframes. That's what we named it. Now, one thing to note, uh, WordPress websites don't by default have just this kind of blank page with a list of blogs. So if you have a WordPress website, you may need to reach out to your website developer. Um, if you don't have anyone that's helping you with that, then you can reach out to us at Ballon Brands and we can probably help you as well. And my point about that is that what if you'll notice on this page, it doesn't have the headers and footers and all of the rest of the theme that ballonvegas.com has because we don't want to pull all of this information in to the command page. It would just be too confusing. So we created a special page that removes all of the actual uh, frame, the framing, like the actual template and theme around the ballonvegas.com page and made just a simple page that only shows the blog posts in the order in which they've been written and published. So we have our code there, our link there, just to show you what that looks like. Now, over here, what we're doing is, like I mentioned, we're, it's called an iframe. So we use this little piece of code that just, it has this uh, less than sign, then iframe source equals, and then we put in the quotes, the actual URL we're pulling in. Then we're just defining a few little details. For instance, the width is 100%, so we wanna make sure that it takes up the full space of the, of the window and then the height says 5,000. So you can really put the height to whatever you want, but this is basically just, we're defining how many pixels long we want so we can show how many different articles we want to display on the page. And that's just a way for us to fill that entire space. Then we tell it that we don't want any border on the frame, the actual iframe that's in there because we want it to look more seamless. And then we put this style border equals none width equals 100 because and sometimes um, the depending on your web browsers and things like that it may not translate properly so we just add this in there so just take this if you need to you can take this exact thing and copy it and then all we need to do is just change that source to be your page instead of our page and that is it so once we have that published then we'll go ahead and go to the page here and we're gonna go down here to real estate blog and you will see that we now have 
that published. So there you go. This is everything you need. It's a pretty simple little hack. You just need that little piece of code and know how to do it. And then of course a page that you're gonna actually bring in to the website. So if you have any questions on that, by all means, please reach out to us at team at And of course, always check out Lori's fantastic resources at understandingcommand.com.